Okay, what are the best morning routines of highly productive people? What do the people that seem to get it all done start their day by doing? Today I'm gonna to answer your question with three, I always like three things, okay? These three things all start with the letter F. They start with the letter F and they are family, fitness, and focus. Let me talk about each one. Number one is family. You know what I do in the morning? Uh, I don't set an alarm clock. My, one of my two screaming little boys wakes me up like little roosters, you know, and I take them downstairs and I'm all bleary eyed and I'm kind of half asleep and I'm in my robe. And then we cook a giant elaborate breakfast. They sit on little, they stand on little stools beside me. I, they eat little pieces of butter. I feed them butter like, like they're little, little farm animals. We make like a fried egg sandwiches. We make like little green smoothies. We fry some mushrooms. And then I go on a walk to school with them uh, looking for rabbits and squirrels and things. Why is it so important to start your day with family? Because it grounds you, it centers you, and it gives you perspective that you can draw upon for the rest of the day. If you jump right into work, you'll forget why you're even doing it, okay? You'll forget um, who the money you're making is for. You'll forget kind of what the whole end, end and be all purpose of life is. You'll forget the people you love, and it's important to start that way with family, okay? Or it could be a roommate or a friend or someone you love, but just do something that's a little touch point on the joy of life in the morning. I call that family. Number two is fitness, okay? Here's the thing about fitness. These days when you go to the gym, do you notice everyone's got earphones in their ears and they're listening to like a podcast or whatever? Or they're listening to some sort of like, they're trying to like take in two types of information. They're trying to like work their muscles out and try to listen to intellectual content at the same time. What I'm gonna tell you is ditch the headphones. Okay, go total silence because I was noticing, and I bet you are, will as well, that when you're trying to do two types of input at once, like a, like a strainful kind of muscle building technique, and also listen to like you know the latest episode of the Tim Ferriss show or whatever, you're distracting yourself from both. There's some research that suggests when you actually think about the muscle you're working when you're working it, you do 15% more weight lifting. That high weight burn that comes from doing squats or comes from doing deadlifts or comes from doing bicep curls, whatever you want to do at the gym actually relieves you of stress for up to the next 48 hours. Um, I feel that in my stomach after I go to the gym. I don't know if you do as well, but you feel the burn. You get like a gym high. You get the, the successful kind of burn that you get because you know you worked hard and your body gets rid of all the cortisol, cortisol st sitting in your stomach. Okay, that's a big thing. Fitness, start with a big workout. And number three, the third and final F is focus. What do you do to zoom into work itself? Now you spend some time with your family, you spend some time at the gym, how do you focus? I got a few tricks up my sleeve that I use. Um, one is I disable all uh, alerts, notifications, I go into airplane mode on my cell phone, I disable Wi-Fi on my laptop, that's one. Um, if you aren't willing to disable Wi-Fi, I recommend the website calmsound.com, we can put it in the show notes, that's C-A-L-M-S-O-U-N-D, calmsound.com, it just creates nature sounds in your headphones so that you're having some sort of distracting, uh, like burbling brooks in the background. Or the other one is, I literally have a piece of like lint, 90% dark chocolate. Something about that, I don't, I'm not a coffee drinker, I'm not a tea drinker, okay, so if that works for you, great, but I sometimes crash after those things and they don't give me much of a lift. I literally use one piece of very, very, very dark chocolate, it helps me focus. I kind of just like suck it, honestly, for like 20 minutes, it sounds weird, but I do, and it puts me in the zone. So what are those three Fs? Family okay, to ground and center yourself. Fitness, fitness, because you wanna like get rid of the cortisol, get rid of the anxiety, get rid of all that stuff that's just hanging out in your body like it's home. No, no, that's not your home. Get out of here. And then third is focus. Find a way to zoom into your work, whether that's deleting all notifications and texts, or going into airplane mode, listening to some calm music, or having something small like a dosage mechanism, whether that's chocolate, whether that's coffee, whether that's tea. I don't know what it is for you, but find the thing that helps you focus and use it. Those are the three Fs of starting your day productively. And how do you start your day productively? These are mine, okay, they're based on some research combined with what I do in my own life, but what do you do? What other little tiny routine in your morning or maybe in your evening ritual helps you get more done during the day? 